instead of a two. Steps gone, and I probably won't need that big one either.
Carried over. Something's not right. I will let you know. Like the paint that's drying on a hard bike. Let me carry over. Get your back on a high when you feel it. on fire but your mind is cold <laughs> and you're finding flames that won't keep you come to me my brother and I will sit with you while soon I see you smile and you know you will no matter how much you Show fire washing windows. Come to me, my brother, and I will sit with you. Pretty soon I see you smile, you know you will. No matter how much you work, man, everything will change in time. Oh, I just might see you. Got no dog here in the fight. Carry your burden, brother mine.
Good evening, everyone. It's so good to be here and see all of you. My name is Dr. Rochelle Janning, and I'm part of the OTD faculty here at Kettering College, and I am honored to welcome you all to this celebration, the pinning ceremony and graduation for the Kettering College Occupational Therapy Doctoral Class of 2021. Yeah? So I stand here among our faculty and our staff, and on behalf of all of us, I would like to say congratulations to you all for persevering on this journey to become occupational therapists. You are a historical group. You've made it through this program in very uncertain times. You have overcome many challenges and barriers and have made many sacrifices throughout your time at Kettering College. So you should all feel very proud at this very moment. I know I speak for the entire faculty when I say we are all very proud of you. Tonight is your moment. You are here. You have made it. To all the family members and friends who are here tonight and for those who could not join us, we commend you for supporting these future occupational therapists for getting to this point. Thank you all for attending tonight to celebrate the amazing accomplishments of the class of 2021. So again, congratulations to you all and God bless. The scripture from Isaiah 40, verses 27 through 31. Why would you ever complain, O Jacob, OTD class of 2021? Or whine, Israel, saying, God has lost track of me. He doesn't care what happens to me. Don't you know anything? Haven't you been listening? God doesn't come and go. He lasts. He's creator of all you can see or imagine. He doesn't get tired out, doesn't pause to catch his breath. And he knows everything, inside and out. He energizes those who get tired, gives fresh strength to dropouts. For even young people tire and drop out. Young folk in their prime stumble and fall. But those who wait upon God get fresh strength. They spread their wings and soar like eagles. They run and don't get tired. They walk and don't lag behind. Let's go ahead and pray together. Father God, thank you for each and every single one of these students who are here today, for the hard work that they've invested into these last couple of years. Uh, as they've invested so much time and energy, blood, sweat, and tears into this effort. Thank you also for the faculty and staff of this occupational therapy program who have supported and shared their experience with each of these students. Thank you also for the family and friends who are here and have been such a great support system throughout this whole entire effort. We also thank you, Lord, for your constant presence in our lives, for your steadying hand, for putting each and every single one of these students, faculty and staff and families, just that perseverance, that grit that they've needed to come successfully to this end. Thank you for your love, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray, amen.
Good evening. My name is Dr. Shanice L. Higgins. I am the program director for the OTD program. And I have had the great pleasure of working with all of your students and loved ones over the last three years, along with all of the rest of the OTD faculty and Kettering College. We wanna thank you for coming out to our class of 2021 pinning and graduation ceremonies. As you all know and have experienced right along with us, the last 12 months have been nothing short of extraordinary. The definition for extraordinary is beyond what is usual, regular, or customary. It also means exceptional to a very marked extent. I think we all can agree that a global pandemic, worldwide civil unrest, and history-making social political events for our country are all exceptional to a very marked extent. But something else that is extraordinary, or shall I say someone else, or several someone else's that are extraordinary, are all of the students in our class of 2021. The perseverance and determination of the Kettering College Occupational Therapy Doctoral Class of 2021 are nothing short of extraordinary. Over the last year, Kettering College has had as a theme grit. Grit in and of itself has many definitions, but I will share with you the one from the author of our theme, Miss Angela Duckworth. And one of her definitions for grit states that grit is passion and perseverance for long-term goals. Grit is living life like it's a marathon and not a sprint. Well, the Kettering College OTD students already decided to live their life to the fullest as occupational therapy students. And being an OT student requires as a foundational skill perseverance and passion for long-term goals. Being in the broke program also requires that you are going to live for a minimum of three years your life like it is a marathon and not a sprint. This would be without all of the aforementioned extraordinary happenings of 2020 and quite frankly 2021 so far. There is no doubt in mine or the OTD faculty or any of the other faculty, staff, administration, or executives from Kettering College that our students are in fact the embodiment of extraordinary and they are grit personified. Without being extraordinary or having grit, there is no way that they would have flipped from mostly face-to-face -face learning immediately into online learning during one of the major semesters that they have in the program, which is their last semester before they go on clinicals. There is no way that without being extraordinary and having grit, they would have survived 24 weeks of clinicals with the uncertainty of whether or not they would be able to start on time, whether or not they would finish on time, whether or not they would have a placement at all, whether or not they would have placements where people were in fact sick with COVID while the world was still trying to figure out what COVID-19 was. They didn't know if they would have placements online virtually, which we give them some preparation for, but not not a lot, quite frankly, before now, or if they would have it in traditional face-to-face -face settings, which is actually what they had been training for for the past two years of their academic time with us. And ultimately, they dealt with the uncertainty of if they would graduate on time, period. They took all of these changes in stride and use their extraordinary skills and grit to keep going. Your loved ones, our students, have truly had to hold on to 
and trust in God's promise to us in Jeremiah 29, 11, that God knew the plans he had for them, that God declared he had plans to prosper them and not to harm them, plans to give them hope and a future. In the midst of all that has been 2020 and 2021, these students, your students, pushed forward with grit, being the extraordinary individuals that God created them to be and trusting in his plan to prosper them and their futures. They have been simply extraordinary. This is your class of 2021. We are about to do the pinning, and I'd like to call first Laurent Pangabayan. Taylor Ellis. Dana Collier. Catherine Prenger.
Kayla Wiley. Alexis Help. Elizabeth Olinger. Courtney Reader. Michael Sidlecki. Ruby Derivo. Megan Heckman.
Hunter Mauser. Elizabeth Kunkel. Janae Horton. Austin Salyers. Alexandra Kadlebowski. Nicole Malfera. Brian Muller.
Alexis Rubel. Katie Baim. Carly Koger. Natalie Medic. Julia Newhouse. Sophia Yule. Marissa Bork.
Lisa Doherty. Ashley Tharski. And last but certainly not least, Julia Williams. So now we are going to go back, allow them to change into their regalia, and then we will be coming back in for the graduation ceremony. Please enjoy a video that they have put together for you.
motivation. My one solution is my queen, cause she stays strong. Yeah, yeah. She is always in my corner. a little bit of summer's what the whole year's all about. You look fine, fine, fine. Put your feet up next to mine. We can watch that water line get higher and higher. Say, 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 ain't it been some kind of day? You and me been catching on like a wild. Thank you. 
I saw a photograph of Tammy's bike scene and I was standing around. Somewhere outside Atlanta and I think my truck seat dang is right there I was in. It was before I knew my way around Los Angeles and before I ever cared about a nice neighborhood. We were driving through the night sleeping on hotel floor thinking that we had it good we were kids back then thinking we would live ever we were kids back then we were wild and free taking on the world together we were kids back then that's how we're always gonna be No friend on my timeline who had lately been on my mind. We were close in love. If we sat down for a drink, I think we'd forget all the stupid reasons we lost touch. It was just because we were kids back then, thinking we would live forever. We were kids back then, you and me. We were wild.
Good afternoon. Members of the Kettering College Board of Directors, special guests, Kettering College faculty and staff, family and friends, and especially the 2021 Kettering College Doctor of Occupational Therapy graduating class, welcome to our commencement ceremony. My name is Nate Brandstater and I just want to, and I'm the president of Kettering College, I just want to offer as we begin the commencement an invocation to thank God for his presence here. Would you pray with me? Gracious God, thank you so much for these graduates, for the blessings you have bestowed upon them, the faculty who have worked with them in their teaching and learning efforts, the clinicians who have trained them. God, we ask that in these next moments, you allow us to feel a special measure of your presence and the joy that you take in the accomplishments of these our OTD graduates at Kettering College. Bless each one who is here. Bless those who could not be here. We ask all of this in Jesus' name. Amen. As a member of the Kettering College faculty for nearly 30 years, Dr. Margaret Rodenberg joined the college faculty in 1969, uh, only two years after the college opened its doors. Although her primary focus at Kettering College has been in the, the instruction of chemistry, she's taught in a variety of other areas as well. She served as the director of arts and sciences program from 85 until 1994. Then she left to accompany her husband, Bill, on his two-year United Nations appointment in Vienna. The couple returned to Kettering College in 2004 and worked in, again in the chemistry department. Dr. Rodenberg earned her Bachelor of Science degree in chemistry uh, in 1961 and followed that with a doctoral degree in chemistry from the University of Nebraska in 67. Dr. Rodenberg embodies the spirit and legacy of giving that permeates Kettering College. In that vein, she started a Margaret L. Rodenberg Graduate Scholar Award and it is my privilege and honor today to uh, recognize two of these students on stage who have been nominated for that award. Each nominee is receiving a certificate and a check for $500. Again, this degree, or this award, sorry, is in recognition of a graduate student who exemplifies the following, scholarship, excellence in professional growth, compassionate service, leadership, dedication to professional healthcare service, a commitment to quality, and commitment to lifelong learning. The first nominee is Katie Bame. Our second nominee, Wubi Derivo. And I'm going to ask Wilby to stay here for a moment because Wilby has also earned the, the award as the winner of the Margaret L. Rodenberg Graduate Scholar Award. I don't think it's going to work. You don't know. I don't know. <laughs>
Wubi Derry Vo first discovered occupational therapy while completing her undergraduate degree right here at Kettering College. After graduating in 2015 with a bachelor's degree in human biology, she returned home to Detroit, Michigan. There she obtained her master's degree in early childhood education and development at Oakland University. While studying at OU, working as a preschool teacher, Wubi continued to learn more about occupational therapy and applied and was accepted here to our program at Kettering College. Wubi loves working with children and hopes to specialize in pediatric occupational therapy, utilizing her knowledge to advocate for children and young adults in her community. I was blessed with the opportunity to work closely with Wubi on a group research project and as the faculty advisor for her doctoral capstone project. And it has truly been a pleasure to collaborate with the soon-to-be Dr. DeRivo. As an occupational therapy student, Wubi has been a phenomenal example of dedication and determination. She has truly embodied the KC OTT vision for our graduates as she has become a culturally proficient, client-centered occupational therapy practitioner. She has demonstrated the ability to provide evidence in occupation-based practice, illuminating her commitment to be a lifelong learner. Wubi has strived to be a reflective and seek out opportunities to advocate for the needs of both her geographical and social community. And finally, as a KC alum, Wubi exemplifies the Kettering College mission of making service a life calling and to view health as harmony with God in body, mind, and spirit. actually really funny because me and my brother kept this from a secret from my parents so <laughs> um, but good evening everyone um, as you all know my name is Wubi Derivo and I have been given the amazing honor of delivering the commencement speech for this year's graduating class of 2021 these last, uh, oh gosh. These last two and a half years have been so rewarding and I am so proud of my class and of all of their hard work and dedication during this program. We together have made it through hours and hours of assigned readings, case studies, research papers, discussion posts, presentations, practicals, and so much more. And just as we were heading into our level two fieldwork placements, just as our professors were preparing us for how intense they would be, a global pandemic happens. Um, so suddenly everything has changed and we have to get used to a new normal. But instead of letting 2020 get the best of us, we showed 2020 what we're made of. How many times have we heard that as aspiring occupational therapists, we have to be prepared for the unexpected? We have to be flexible when change comes our way. Well, I'm sure none of us saw that coming. And yet, we made it through. And if we can make it through the past year, we can make it through anything. I am so excited to finally say that we are here, guys, <laughs> and we made it. I want to say thank you to the faculty at, um, at the Kettering Occupational Therapy Program, not only for teaching us how to be amazing occupational therapists, but for helping us to navigate through our fieldwork and doctoral experiences in the midst of such a strenuous year. The lessons we have learned from them and the support that they have shown us over the past two and a half years will never be forgotten. I also want to take the time to thank Mary Kay and Pam for being our biggest cheerleaders on campus. We've all had days, exactly. We have all had days where <laughs> we really struggled, but with their endless support and the help of Mary Kay's candy jar, we've made it through. Thank you so much to our families, our friends, our partners, who have been with us such a wonderful source of strength for each one of us. We couldn't have done this without you. Thank you for telling us when it was time for us to take a break, for us to stop and go to bed, and for letting us know that everything was going to be okay when we would start to break down. Thank you for providing us, 
providing us with much needed distraction and for all the extra things you took care of when we were too busy studying. It meant the world to us and we love you. I am gonna take this opportunity to just be a little bit selfish and specifically thank my mom and dad, um, Helody and Franklin DeRivo, for emigrating here from Haiti and working so hard to provide for me and my siblings and supporting me through this journey. I love you so much. <laughs> <laughs> Lastly, I want to take this time to address my fellow classmates and future colleagues. No matter what area of OT that we may end up working in, I want us to remember two things because they are so close to my heart and I think that they'll have an impact on the kind of uh, clinicians that we will become. And I promise to make this quick. I know we want to get to the good part. First, I want us to think back to our first few semesters of OT school. It seems like forever ago, but it was then that we first learned the importance of being evidence-based, remaining client-centered, promoting occupational balance, and addressing occupational injustices in our communities. As we have seen this last year, in the, during this last year, our world is constantly changing, and as we are slowly transitioning to a post-COVID world, we will still be affected by the challenges we all face during the pandemic. As holistic clinicians, we have a unique perspective on how a client's environment, socioeconomic status, spirituality, roles, routines, and so much more make up who they are and how they participate in the activities that are so meaningful to them. So I want to encourage all of us to find ways to continue to serve our communities and advocate for others. Second, we all know that we can't expect to give our clients the best possible care if we ourselves are not at our best. I can't tell you how many times we've covered this in online discussion posts, and it's a lot easier said than done. But um, I want all of us to remember this. Give yourself some grace. Stop and take a breath when you need it, and to make sure to rely on your amazing support system. Although we have finally finished school and we are taking the next steps towards being professionals, we're still very new to this. There are going to be a few challenging days ahead, so I want us to do our best to set aside time for self-care and self-reflection as often as we can, and remember that God is with us every step of the way. I am so proud to be a part of such an outstanding group of life-changing, inspiring, loving, caring, and supportive future clinicians. I cannot wait to see what the future holds for each one of us. Congratulations to the class of 2021. We did it. And now, as will be said, it's time for the good stuff, right? <laughs> All right. Uh, Mr. President, it is my honor and privilege to recommend that we grant the degree Occupational Therapy Doctorate to each of these individuals who has completed each and every requirement uh, required of them for fulfillment of that degree. Thank you, Dean Benny, uh, and by the authority vested in me by the Board of Directors of Kettering College as its president and by the authority of the state of Ohio, it is my great pleasure to bestow upon this year's graduating class of occupational therapy the doctoral degrees to which they are entitled. Graduates, please prepare to receive your diplomas. Dr. Taylor Ellis. Dr. Ellis's capstone was Longitudinal Trends in Formal Sensory Test Results of Grade School Students with Autism.
just the hood now. Dr. Dana Lynn Collier. Dr. Collier's capstone, the role of occupational therapy in a community mental health setting. Dr. Katherine Pringer. Dr. Pringer's capstone, development of a resource tool to enhance fine motor and visual motor skills for kindergarten readiness. <laughs> Dr. Kayla Wiley. Dr. Wiley's capstone was entitled Adapted Sports and Pediatric Muscular Dystrophy. Dr. Alexis Helt. Dr. Helt's capstone project was entitled Addressing Sleep as an Occupation in Inpatient Rehabilitation. Dr. Elizabeth Olinger. Dr. Erlinger's capstone project was entitled A Smart Home Technology Program for Individuals Diagnosed with ALS. Dr. Courtney Reeder. Dr. Reeder's capstone was entitled Occupational Therapy Practitioner's Perspectives Regarding Health Literacy, Patient Education, and Intervention for Health Promotion and Stroke Prevention. Dr. Michael Sidlecki. Dr. Sidlecki's capstone project was entitled Growing Closer as a Community, Creating a Community Green Space for Friends of the Castle. Dr. Wubi Derivo. Dr. DeRivo's capstone project was entitled Improving Interprofessional Collaboration Through the Education of Teachers on the Role of School-Based Occupational Therapists. Dr. Megan Heckman. Dr. Heckman's capstone was entitled Identifying and Promoting Fine Motor and Related Skills to Improve Performance in Preschool Classrooms.
Dr. Hunter Mauser. Dr. Mauser's capstone project was entitled Aquatic Therapy for the Pediatric Population. Dr. Elizabeth Kunkel. Dr. Kunkel's capstone project was entitled Creating Inclusivity in a Faith-Based Environment. Dr. Janae Horton. Dr. Horton's capstone project was entitled The Role of Occupational Therapy in Addressing Sleep with School-Aged Children. Dr. Austin Salyers. Dr. Salyer's capstone project was entitled Effectiveness of Physical Activity Breaks on, on, for On-Task Behavior in Intermediate Level Students. Dr. Alexandra Kadlubowski. Dr. Kadlubowski's capstone project was entitled Three-Dimensional Printing Assistive Technology Program. Dr. Nicole Malfera. Dr. Malfera's capstone project was entitled Assistive and Rehabilitative Technology for Stroke Survivors. Dr. Brian Muller. Dr. Muller's capstone project was entitled Establishing Standardized Timeframes for Driving Reevaluation Within Stroke and Alzheimer's Disease Populations. Dr. Alexis Rubel. Dr. Rubel's capstone project was entitled Development of a Secondary Stroke Screening Tool for Occupational Therapists in an Acute Care Inpatient Rehabilitative Setting. Dr. Katie Baim. Dr. Baim's capstone project was entitled The Role of Occupational Therapy in an Outpatient Traumatic Brain Injury Clinic at the Cincinnati VA Medical Center. Dr. Carly Koger.
Dr. Coder, Coger's capstone project was entitled Infant Attachment and Transitional Care. Dr. Natalie Medic. <laughs> Dr. Medic's capstone project is entitled Occupational Therapy and Primary Care. Dr. Julia Newhouse. <laughs> Dr. Newhouse's capstone project was entitled Seating and Mobility, a guide for new graduate therapists. Dr. Sophia Yule. <laughs> Dr. Yule's capstone project was entitled Psychosocial Care for Stroke Survivors in Outpatient Rehabilitation. Dr. Marissa Bork. <laughs> Dr. Bork's capstone project was entitled Supporting and Enhancing Neonatal Sensory Experiences in Kettering Medical Center's Neonatal Intensive Care Unit, a Quality Improvement Initiative. Dr. Lisa Doherty. <laughs> Dr. Doherty's capstone project was entitled Healing on Horseback, Advocacy for Community Expansion of Occupational Therapy. Dr. Ashley Thorsky. <laughs> Dr. Thorsky's capstone project was entitled Utilizing Instrumental Activities of Daily Living in Inpatient Acute Psychiatric Setting. Dr. Julia Williams. <laughs> Dr. Williams' capstone project was entitled The Role of Occupational Therapy and Assistive Technology Throughout the Stages of ALS. Ladies and gentlemen, join me in congratulating the Doctors of Occupational Therapy, Class of 2021.
amazing research that you all did. I mean, absolutely incredible. I'm so impressed with this group. I believe it was Wooby that was walking across the stage and maybe I heard her brother yell, nerd. Was that you? <laughs> I said that had to be her brother. <laughs> you can sit. Thank you so much. Well, good evening, everybody. My name is Tiffany Thompson. I have the unique pleasure of serving in Kettering Health Network as an administrator, uh, administrative director of nursing. Uh, I also am an alumnus of Kettering College. I may be the most proud uh, to ever graduate from Kettering. I can tell you that my time at Kettering College truly changed the course of my life. Uh, the lessons that I learned there, the discovery of who I am, uh, the talents that I didn't know that I had and the abilities that I had no idea I had were all discovered at Kettering College. And it is my prayer that this group behind me will look back at their time at Kettering and realize how they grew and um, how they were molded and developed into exactly uh, the person, the clinician that God has created them to be. I also have the pleasure of serving as the alumni board president. So um, it is an honor tonight for me to welcome this class into our alumni association. And uh, I just hope that all of you will look us up on Facebook, that you'll stay in touch, uh, give us your contact information so we can stay in touch with you and you can continue to know all of the incredible work that's gonna be happening at Kettering College. I have the ability in my position as a director of nursing to watch our occupational therapy teams in action every single day in the acute care setting. And the remarkable work that they do, the lives that they transform, the victories that are realized at the hands of clinicians uh, as these beautiful people behind me is absolutely incredible. Uh, the, the work, it cannot be overstated um, that every single life, every single touch uh, that they have the opportunity to make with their clients uh, can transform a life. I have had the, um, I, I would say, the blessing of going through the health care continuum over the last 20 months myself as a cancer patient. And while I learned a lot in the text, uh, there's nothing like the education of actually being one of the patients on the other side of the stethoscope. And I can tell you that every single touch, every smile, every kind word, every whisper of hope matters. And that is what makes Kettering so special. The curriculum that is taught here is whole person, mind, body, and spirit, and becoming the clinician that God has equipped each of us to be. Thank you so much for joining tonight. Uh, I pray that God just continues to bless this amazing group behind me, that he walks hand in hand uh, with each of you on your career. I pray that the clients that you touch may come to know him through you, and all of the amazing work that you do. Thank you. Well, again, if you haven't heard it enough, we're super proud of you. You guys are a big deal. And you guys are also a big deal. You really are, because if you hadn't figured it out yet, uh, we need each other, even more so with everything that's going on right now. We need each other. And the more you guys were able to step in and support these guys, and the more they were able to rely on you, uh, the better they were, the better, the better you were, and the better we as a college are as well. And it's such a beautiful experience to be able to realize that more and more, and specifically to be able to celebrate that here uh, today, this evening, and to understand that something that's happening here is not just a celebration of a graduation and of incredible amounts of hard work that these guys have put in, but also that we believe as a college, as an institution, as a church, that, that we're a part of a bigger story. Ephesians even tells us this, if you've, uh, if you've read this passage before, it says that we are Christ's handiwork, created in Christ Jesus to do good works, which God prepared beforehand that we would do. In other words, what these guys are experiencing, what you 
assisted in helping them to be able to do is to be able to take one more step in the journey that God had in mind from them for the very beginning of time and to be able to live that out. And so what, like, what an opportunity to celebrate, what an opportunity to be able to celebrate uh, their work, your support, and the beautiful uh, journey that God has each one of us on. And so I'd like to say a prayer of blessing uh, over these guys as we close. Uh, but before we do, uh, a couple of announcements. When we're done, just stay in your seats for just a moment and give all of these uh, lovely gowned new doctors the chance to be able to get out. Um, as you leave, uh, to make this day even better, you have gifts waiting for you, right? It's a pretty sweet deal. So you're going to see one of our good friends, Mindy. She's standing out there at a table. Just go ahead and line up. She's going to give you something just to celebrate the fact you're joining Tiffany's crew, the team alumni. And uh, so we're thrilled to have you do that. So when you leave, um, just give them a second to get out. We'll get you gifts. And um, thank you so much for being here. Let's, uh, let's have a word of prayer. Jesus, we are so thankful for how good you've been to us. And especially just considering the crazy world that we live in right now, we have so much to celebrate today. And so as we, as we sit here, as we stand here before you, uh, we're humbled at how good you've been to us. And so we pray that this, uh, as we've already stated, that this chapter in the story that's playing out in each one of their lives, in each one of our lives, uh, will just be a reminder of your faithfulness of how good you have been to us and of how good you promised to be to us as we continue to walk hand in hand with you, uh, trusting you through the complicated times and through the easy times, um, looking to you for strength and for guidance. Uh, we love you. We love you so much. We pray your blessing on each one of these graduates. In your name we pray. Amen. Somewhere outside Atlanta, and I think my 12 seat van is right there out of frame. So, as before I knew my way around Los Angeles, and before I ever cared about nice neighborhoods, we were driving through the night, sleeping on hotel floors, thinking that we had it good.